Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lastly here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Review. We're going to be looking at the team of the season, 90 rated Nikolai Jurgensen. He is a Danish striker who plays for Feyenoord in the Eredivisie and has got an outstanding looking team of the season item. 86 pace, 92 dribbling, 93 shooting, 91 passing and physical. That's just unreal. And he's also 6 foot 3 to top that one off. High medium work rates, right footed with the very average looking three star skills and weak foot however. So I have a couple of different team options for you. The first one is just a mix between the Bundesliga and the Eredivisie. Uh, there are a couple of regular gold items from the Eredivisie that you could make into or you could change to the TOTS versions if you wanted. Uh, however, I actually used him in this team right here. It's a lot, lot stronger than uh, than what I think you can do in the Eredivisie. There's lots of great players here from the Premier League and a couple of Danish legends as well to get Jurgensen his chemistry. So when we move on into the in-game stats for this player, um, he's had uh, an upgrade in the winter upgrades as well as two informs this year. On basic chemistry style, we're looking like 94 attack positioning and 99 strength. However, today... I've decided to boost him with the Hawk chemistry style. I wanted to try and get that pace up just a touch. Uh, and then also, you know, as, as much as we can improve his, his shooting and physical stats, the better. Because I was already quite happy with the 92 dribbling and 91 passing stats that we have on his item. So, moving on in then to the clips that we got with the player. I can talk about the positives and negatives. And as you can see, there's quite a long list for both green and red today. So, we'll start with the negatives first. Uh, I, I think I was expecting an absolutely godly, unreal player that you just couldn't touch on this game after seeing those stats anyway. And it just wasn't quite as, uh, as like, heavenly as I thought it might be. However, this first goal that I did score with him, that was literally the first shot I took with the player in the first game. It was a fantastic goal, you have to admit that, right? Um, but negatives, skills and weak foot, three star, three star. It's just average, it's not, you know, it's not majorly negative, it's just bang average really um it would it would turn this guy into such a better player if he did have four star skill moves um but so be it it's not really the end of the world agility and balance are stats which are relatively low i guess you could try and use the engine chemistry style to to maybe boost both of these stats but in previous um previous like uses of of a different jurgensen items i found that even by boosting him like that it didn't really necessarily help uh, so I thought, you know what, we're not, we're just not going to try and use him as a very agile player uh, because let's face it, he's a six foot three target man. Um, also, I was disappointed with his positioning. It does go up to 99 with our chemistry style in game, and I've got to say, it didn't feel like that. He was one of those strikers which, as a right striker in a 4-1-2-1-2, decided to push out wide, almost like a winger. A little bit too often and and that really does get to you a bit you're expecting him to start running through and then he just starts running out wide and that's not really it's not the sort of run that I was expecting because it doesn't create an open up an opportunity for himself if anything he's pushing himself out wide to create space but then he's gonna be the one assisting the goal rather than scoring it when I really wanted him to be my out-and-out goal scorer um, and then finally, composure in front of goal. He's got a relatively low composure stat, which of course stays the same uh, for every single item that this player will get all year long. Uh, and I just found that in front of goal, one-on-one -on -one situations, there were so many opportunities missed. I scored a lot of goals, but the amount of time I stuck it wide of the post was a little bit frustrating. But it's not all doom and gloom. I did score a lot of goals with the player, and there are lots and lots of positives. For a six foot three player, uh, I, I was not expecting him to have such good pace. He's very quick off the mark, and his sprint speed is great as well. Try stopping him once he gets going. It's a little bit difficult because he's so strong. Uh, also has a fantastic first touch. Uh, that really does help him try and get a little bit of space. If he's got his back to goal, it's a it's a it's a very nice first touch just to get the ball out of his feet, turn on that defender, and then whip a shot off. He's a perfect target man because. He is so tall and he and he does possess an awful lot of strength. Literally 99 strength we boosted him up to in game which is perfect. Um, and what you wouldn't expect for someone who's a little bit like that, a strong target man, is to have such a fantastic free kick. Um, you'll see the one I just netted right there was just a real banger. Like that was a power free kick with a lot of curve into that top corner. Doesn't get much better than that. You can really do them all day long with Nikolai Jurgensen. 
Uh, and then finally, his shot power and just generally, once you do get used to that, that low composure stat and and figure out what you need to do to score goals. Uh, he really can find the back of the net quite nicely. He, he, At the end of the day, he is a good goal scorer. Um, but I found it difficult to get him into those positions to really nail like two or three goals per game. So uh, not the highest of goal scorers in my opinion. And not the best of strikers that I've used this year. I have to admit, even though I was expecting some amazing things, he does provide them. But just... Not on a on a constant basis, which is what I think I was expecting when looking at that item itself. It just looks fantastic. But a great player, and because the Error of Easy Tots is so good, there are lots of options to put him into a team with. So let me know, guys, if you're using what you think of him down below in that comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.